All right, we, ha we have flight now. Look at this. Okay, so here we go. Whoa! And that's a perfect flight right there. That is just how we want our missile to be. It that will be perfect. Okay, three, two. Oh crap! Okay, we need to we need to we need to line up our shot. Ooh, that's not good. Everything seems to be much better. We'll go ahead and uh... well, I guess now we have to. Um... Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Crossout. Today, I had an idea, and it's a, ve a very good idea, I think. I, I think it'd work very well. I don't know if it'd go over very well, but it would, would, would work. So, today, we're going to be doing that idea to build some kind of launcher. So, basically, what we're looking for is something like this, and then a, um, a thing that will explode. So, like, um, really not this thing. I mean, it does explode, but it's, it's not going to explode, um... It explodes too good, and it has too much energy cost, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to... Um, oh yes, we also need to get our cabin and stuff first. Okay. Well, well, basically, we're, we're just going to be making this, and then extending, and extending, and then boom, I think this is where our cabin's going to go, and then we'll just build from here. Alright, there we go. We got we got a bit of a, um, a, a launcher thing. It, it's, it's not going to be pointing straight up yet. I just want to get this uh, functional. Next thing we need is a decoupler, so something like right here. Alright, we place that. Yes, that's good. Uh, we also need an explosive barrel there, just to make sure this thing falls off. Now, I am using the lightweight frame here, because it's gonna be extremely weak. Th these are very, very, very weak. But anyway, uh, fuel barrel. Boom! Yes, good. And, as you can see, it decouples the cabin. Th that is good. It needs to decouple it in one shot, though, so uh, I'll go ahead and fix that up. Now we need a counterweight so we can uh, balance this thing out. So we're gonna go ahead and use the generator as a counterweight. We don't even need the generator on this thing, I don't think. Yeah, there we go. Yes, that, that, that is good. Now does it explode? No, it does not explode. What is this? Why? You have to explode. It's, it's the job. Okay, here we go. Okay, it doesn't want to explode now. Um, maybe if we go like that, that should work. That's good. Yeah, that, that is perfect. I, I wanted to explode faster, though. Like, is there a better choice for this? Okay, so I had to purchase one of these because, um... Yes, they're the best way to destroy things. Well, actually, never mind. I, I guess I didn't. I, I guess I messed up there on that that purchase. Okay. Well, never mind. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the problem. I, I thought that would work, but you know what? Maybe this will work better. We'll try that one. Ha! Ah, nope, never mind. Um, I'm not too sure about how to get this thing to actually explode. I've, I've done this a few times, but this uh, doesn't want to explode. See, it, it just wants to blow itself up. Okay, I figured it out. So, as you can see, we have a simple setup here, which gets the rocket to come out as close to the, uh, the, the fuel barrel as possible, so when it, when it fires, it detonates the whole thing. As, that is good. A good start. Now we just need to figure out the, the, um actual flying mechanics which are gonna be painful but uh, from what I remember if you if you put two of these at the front these are gonna keep it in line and they will uh, be our main thrust so we'll go ahead and uh, try that now what we're making here is a guided missile basically look at that see it did kind of hold but like um, not to the extent that we want it to so we, we probably need about three of those in there and then maybe a few more, just because we will be carrying other rockets to actually angle it. But not up and, like, not side-to-side -side rockets. We'll just be having up and down rockets. That's all we really need for this, uh, task. Alright, we, ha we have flight now. Look at this. Okay, so. Here we go. Whoa! And that's a perfect flight right there. That is just how we want our missile to be. It, that will be perfect. Yes, okay. So now, we need to make our weapon of choice, I guess. Um... I'm thinking that we will go like this, ah, and then add on some wonderful explosives at the front. Oh, I do need to use my new one of these. Activate it. Yes, good. Uh, that's that's just what I needed. Yes, that is. Uh, oh, it's it's awfully slow. Oh, okay. We need to, we need to add an engine. Um, okay, that that won't be too big of a problem. We still have more energy to use, so don't worry. I have this. I think. Yes, that that should do the trick. 
Uh-huh. Whoa! Now, now, we do have one issue that we've added a bit of weight to the front, so the center of mass has now switched. So when it goes like this, the center of mass is not what it used to be. I'll go ahead and demonstrate it like without the front piece for you all. So as you can see, the, the center of mass... Well, actually, maybe that just changed the mass itself. I don't think it's the center of mass that seems to have changed. It was just the mass. The center of mass seems to be in the, like, the center of the cabin. I mean, if we wanted to go up more, then we would, uh... Add more of these, I guess, like, beneath it. But we, okay, we only need one of those underneath, don't we? Alright, now time for another test. Okay, that is looking good. That is, like, literally, this is the most, most greatest thing I've ever created right there. Let's, let's give it a test. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, it doesn't have much lift, I don't think. We're going to Bedlam now to go use our wonderful new weapon. It would appear we are, um, not alone today. That's good. That's perfect. Now we just need to, uh, go ahead and, uh, aim up and, uh, start practicing with this thing. So, holy crap. Oh, there's not a very high ceiling on this map. It, it, wait, did they change the ceiling on this map? That's annoying. How am I supposed to fly when there's, like, this low of a ceiling? Well, hopefully we hit somebody. Oh, yes, the bridge. Everybody loves the bridge, and the best part is, everybody loves to come up to here on the bridge. So, maybe if I go like this, go ahead and uh, do some of that, and then uh, some of, uh, um, 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 I, I, I can't really fly this thing. Okay, well, well, we'll try again. So here's our goal, to fly and hit the targets who are on the other side of the bridge from us. Three, two, one, I think I want to hold shift. No, I want to, I want to, oh crap, oh crap, um, I did right click, uh, I think shift is, is the back, so if we, if we do shift, uh, that takes us like, um, that just kind of slams us to the ground, kind of, I think. Okay, we'll try that again. Okay, three, two, oh crap, okay, we need to, we need to, we need to line up our shot, Ooh, that's not good. I appear to not be able to fly this thing. Yeah, imagine if I just, like, hit somebody right there. <laughs> oh, crap. Who's who's found me? Get out of here. Oh, it's you? Oh, well, I know what you do, you. Oh, crap. Oh, yes. Oh, there we go. That's good practice for dive bombing onto somebody. Oh, there's people fighting down there. Oh, and there was somebody going across the bridge, I think. But I can't really see them now. Oh, well. Um. Oh, look, there's more people fighting. Wait. Oh, yes. Let's... All right. Stop that. Crap, my arch nemesis is here. Oh, and that person is here. Who's that person? Oh, crap. I think they're going for my guns. Stop shooting me, bro. What is he doing? He's just sitting there shooting the same spot. What is this? Um... <laughs> Take that! Ah, uh, shotguns! Yeah, get out of here. I've killed many people with my shotguns now. Oh crap, this guy has shotguns too. Oh no, what will I do? Oh crap, he's got like something else on there. Oh crap, everybody's going for me! <laughs> wow, I lost my legs to him. What the heck is this? <laughs> I'm probably about to die now. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. There's a guy with lances over there, and I, th I think, I think he's got it for me, honestly. Okay, never mind. He's dead. That, that's that's better than me being dead. That's good. Ah, uh, yes, our good friend is here. Yes. Greetings. Yes, yes. Once I get my shotguns lined up, and uh, I'll be able to do tons of damage to this guy now. Enjoy! You are now a flaming cabin. My guns are very powerful, and that's uh, not something that should be... Oh, nice, we got a sandwich there. <laughs> okay, um, so now... So now my internet's definitely gone. It's, like, disappeared. I think somebody stole it. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, we appear to not be able to fly this thing. Even though that is, is totally wasn't even possible before. Oh, crap! Oh, I almost had that one. He's lucky. He's lucky the internet's not good. 
Oh, everything seems to be much better. We'll go ahead and, uh... Well, I guess now we have to, um... I don't see anything over here. Oh, I do see so. Okay, it's not that guy. That's the wrong guy. Wait, d d d uh, oh, wait, wait a second. Well, I, I guess I don't get to pay my revenge. Because he was gone before I could even get a chance to get him. Okay, and, uh. Oh, who are you? Take that. <laughs> oh, get out of here, drone. Oh, crap. Uh, uh, my rival's here. Oh, what will I ever do? Oh, well, I'll take your gun, and, uh, you won't... <laughs> you won't even have a chance to retaliate against this. It's just so ridiculously powerful to not be able to retaliate against somebody. <laughs> well, I guess that's pretty much it for today's episode, so if you guys have enjoyed today's episode of, um, this, uh, you know, feel free to like and uh, subscribe. I just lost the wheel. That's fine. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Oh, yes, I'll have to do that real quick. Uh, yes, good. Yeah, I'll see you all next time.